We have mom hair today, so welcome to the party. Why is it getting like stuck? Do we have a malfunction? I'm confused about this product. It was always sold out. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a testing all the new viral drugstore makeup. Well, at least a lot of it. I have um, some really incredible products in front of me that I've seen literally everywhere on my TV in ads, on my TikTok, you know, for you page, um, and all over YouTube. These are the products from the drugstore that are affordable that everybody has been testing. And I can't wait to test them for you guys. I'm going to be doing a first impression. You can see them applied. I'll give you my you know, opinion, and then I will be doing a wear test as well. So if you're interested in what drugstore viral products I'm testing and how they turn out, then keep on watching. Okay. So the first product we have here is the Maybelline per, um, Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. So I'm oily skin type, and so this is something I'm nervous to try, but I'm definitely excited to try. So this is supposed to give you 4-in-1. It's supposed to prime your skin, conceal your skin, highlight your skin and be a BB cream. So it's supposed to give you an instant perfected glow look, brighten, conceal imperfections, highlight and even skin tone with light coverage. So let's go. So I got it in the shade, the lightest shade, Fair Light. It looks kind of dark and I'm kind of nervous about it, but we'll see. It's supposed to be like a BB cream. So I'm actually not applying foundation um, or primer. So, cause this is supposed to be a four in one. Like this is supposed to do it all. And I feel like, we wanna see if it works. So if you have oily combination skin, then keep watching to see if this actually works. We're gonna just keep twisting. Why is it getting like stuck? Do we have a malfunction? The twister's a little finicky. Oh, we got product, we got product. Okay, so basically you're just supposed to twist it until product shows and then start applying. Maybelline is like the, brand that started these whole sponge tips. So I'm excited to see how this one does. This twister is not twisting. Like it's literally not twisting. Do we have a malfunction of a product? I mean, we have quite a bit. Okay, it's, it's, it's flowing now. I'm gonna apply quite a bit since I'm not applying foundation to get as much coverage as possible. Ooh. Why isn't it twisting? I'm gonna throw my hair up. We have mom hair today, so welcome to the party. I have a four and a half year old, but I also have a just shy of three month old, so this is as good as my hair gets some days. I'm lucky that I'm able to record a video. Yay. So we got Beauty Blender. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in. I don't know if a brush would have maybe been better, but I don't have a brush right now down here and I'm not going upstairs. Well, the packaging isn't my favorite. It's not really doing a whole lot yet. I can see a glowy finish for sure. It's like maybe concealing ever so slightly, but not a whole lot. Yeah, it's giving a really nice glow. I like the glow and it's drying down like it's not super oily. So is this supposed to be concealer? I don't know. I guess it's supposed to conceal imperfections like overall concealing maybe, so. Maybe that's what they mean. It almost is, it's weird because I think, I guess it has light enough coverage that even though it's darker for my skin tone, it's not adding too much coverage. I feel like I need to kind of bring it down a little bit. See how dark it is for me? I don't know about this one yet, guys. I like the glow it's giving for sure. I feel like I could almost use this as a primer. I feel like I see myself using it more as a primer. Did not give me really any coverage. So we're gonna be light coverage today because I told myself, no, you're not using a foundation. We have a concealer here though that we're gonna be testing. So like you can see, it's really brightened my skin. It does give an overall kind of, um, you know, my skin doesn't look as red. My skin doesn't look maybe, like my blemishes are maybe ever so slightly blunt, like concealed or, or blurred a bit, but it doesn't conceal really anything. You know, my face skin doesn't look much different aside from the fact that it maybe looks a tiny bit more even and it has a really nice glow so i feel like if you like like barely any coverage then you will like this because it gives you that nice dewy kind of glow look um, and just an overall kind of evening so i'm not as impressed about the coverage i mean i know it says light coverage but i wouldn't even consider this light coverage i'd say this is like pretty close to no coverage this is the next product it's the revlon color stay skin awaken concealer so it has caffeine and vitamin c it's 
a five-in-one concealer. It's supposed to erase, perfect, brighten, hydrate, and refresh. And it's supposed to last 24 hours. I got it in the shade Cool Ivory, which is 003. It has a twist off cap. This is like, whoop, super viral. And it has this little sponge, but it's a very different shape. It's smaller than any con sponge concealer I've ever seen, like sponge applicator. So it'd be nice to get in those like small areas. I've seen a lot of people use this on TikTok and everywhere. I am a little late to the game for this one, but so it's a squeezy tube and not a twist, which I like better because this one did not go very well for me. So you just kind of squeeze it and you can see as you squeeze, product's gonna come out. So let's go ahead and see if we can get some more coverage here. Oh, I'm liking the look of the coverage so far. I'm gonna put a little bit here to conceal those blemishes. So I'm kind of applying where I normally would apply and then just a little bit more to conceal anything that needs to be concealed. It's lighter, so I don't know how it's gonna go, but we'll see. Let's blend. Okay, as I'm blending, I'm seeing it's not like the highest coverage concealer, but it has decent coverage. Like I'd say medium so far. We'll also try to build it. Ooh, it looks so like blurring to the skin though. Do you see that? It's concealing everything pretty good so far. I mean, I'm putting it like on the majority of my face because I'm trying to use it kind of to add more coverage. So far, so good. It's like really lightweight too. Like it, it just blends into the skin and it's like not feeling or looking heavy at all, which I really like. And I applied quite a bit. So let's see if it'll cover these blemishes. It's really smoothing the skin and I didn't apply conceal or sorry primer so I like that it's it's blurring the skin a bit and um, because I needed that assistance so it's not fully concealing these blemishes I mean let me try to do more of a spot conceal apply a little bit more under the eyes see if we can get a little extra coverage so far so good though. I'm like, I'm not mad about the coverage. Okay. I would say it's like pretty close to full coverage. It's maybe not that like tart shape tape level, but it's like decently close. Conceal these blemishes. Like I said, like a really high medium, almost full coverage. I'd also say it is pretty buildable. Really liking the way this is looking on the skin. It almost has like a hydrating look without looking dewy or like, like glowy. It just gives you like a healthy finish. It has really good coverage because as you can see, like I don't have any foundation on. So it really ha does have great super close to full coverage it's buildable it brightens the under eyes um it conceals like the blemishes decently well i would say and it actually but probably my favorite thing about it is it's quite blurring to the skin like it, it kind of smooths out your texture a little bit the next product i have here is the wet n wild bare focus clarifying finishing powder i have a feeling i'm gonna hate this under the eyes i don't know i did bring my loose powder i'm almost feeling like i should just set my under eyes with the loose powder here maybe i'll do one eye with this one under the eye just to see how it looks because maybe it will surprise me I'm trying to convince myself here i just hate pressed powders under my eyes i feel like they don't give me that smooth you know finish and they don't hold up as well but this is supposed to be clarifying which is great for us acne prone skin types we're gonna make sure there's no lines under the eye and let's see how it sets the under eyes i mean it's not the worst actually um but you will see what i mean i'm gonna do my loose powder on the other side and you'll see why i personally choose to use loose powders on my under eyes, I feel like it just kind of locks the concealer in a bit better and it gives a more smooth effect. But this one's actually not 
horrible. It's not horrible at all. It's actually really not that bad. It just doesn't brighten quite as much as my loose powder does and it looks maybe a little bit more textured but like not a whole lot. This concealer set down pretty good. It's not my favorite. I feel like it's looking a little more textured now that it's set down even with my favorite setting powder. So not loving that but um Let's go ahead and see once I have the full face done. Sometimes if I judge it too early, I'm mistaken. The rest of the face, let's go ahead with a brush and apply this powder. I like it on the rest of the face. It's not accentuating any texture. It's almost, it has like ever so slightly a little bit of coverage. So it's evening out the skin tone even more. It's not making my skin look dry which I was actually quite worried about considering it's clarifying. I thought like, is it gonna dry out the skin? It's not horrible, it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look heavy, it doesn't dry out the skin. I'm not mad about it and we'll see how this holds up, especially considering I didn't put on a primer and this is a more dewy, glowy look, like product. This hopefully will be like locking in the makeup. I forgot to mention the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder was in the shade Fair Light. And now we have the L'Oreal Infallible Up to 24 Hour Fresh Wear Bronzer. So I really liked their powder foundation. It wasn't my favorite in terms of like long wear. I found it broke down, got oily and did start to break down on me quicker than some of my other favorites, but it is very full coverage. It's very smoothing to the skin. So I did still really like it. And that product went like super viral as well. I got this one in the shade Fair. Um, and this is the bronzer. So it looks very similar to the powder foundation, but just bronzer. So let's go ahead and bronze up the skin. I'm gonna use this kind of as contour bronzer. We're doing a pretty natural look today, actually. So this is supposed to be long wearing and really just beautiful on the skin. I really like this shade. It has it's supposed to have a soft matte finish, which I'm noticing. And I find soft matte bronzers, powders, concealers, um, foundations, they're usually my favorite because I like a matte finish. I, it's my personal favorite finish, especially being a more combo oily skin type because they hold up the longest, but they also typically have a more like blurring, smoothing effect. And I'm going to do it on half the face and you're going to see, um, like I can already tell without looking up close, this is looking absolutely it's beautiful on the skin. It's that soft matte finish that just like makes your skin look so perfected. So this is with the bronzer and without. You can see it adds really nice warmth without being orange. It's a beautiful color for my fair skin tone, but still adds warmth and color. You can also get away with using it as a contour. I mean, it's warm for a contour, but it's not too warm. It's pigmented without being like patchy, chalky, um, it doesn't have any funky finish to it, and it just looks so beautiful on the skin. Really easy to use too, like it's blending out really nicely. Okay, so bronzer, A plus so far. Definitely see the hype in that one. The next product is from Essence, it's new, and it's called an illuminating powder. I'm confused about this product because it's like bronzer, highlight, blush in one, and when you do swirl your finger in it, it gives you kind of, blush topper vibes, I guess. So we're gonna actually use it as kind of an all like over cheek product over top of the bronzer, just to add a little more color and a little glow. I feel like it's kind of, you know, it's not blush, it's not highlight, it's not bronzer. It's kind of, I mean, I guess it's considered an illuminating powder. So let's see, does it add enough glow to be worth it? So this is with and without it adds enough color that I feel like I would use it as blush. It's almost like a glowy blush. This is the swatch. It's a really subtle kind of glow. I'm not mad about it. It's not a highlight, like it's not enough to be a highlight, but at least for me, cause I like pigmented highlights, but it's actually adding more color than I thought it would. Like that pink and brown mixed together adds a really nice shade. And then that, that highlight in there adds enough glow that I feel like I'm not mad about it. I'm actually not mad about it at all. And it was like $4. Let's just blend 
those edges out it's more pigmented than i thought it would be and it adds just a very subtle glow i'm almost wondering if i get like a smaller brush and just pick up the highlight here can we add enough glow yeah it's like subtle but it's enough i feel and i like that they have a big enough spot down here to at least fit a highlight brush yeah actually that's not bad it's more light reflective than i thought it was going to be i was quite confused i wasn't quite very excited about this product I thought I'll pick it up and see if it's worth it kind of was confusing but look at that actually it's definitely buildable highlight and you could use it as a blush and for the price how can you go wrong with that okay let's move on we're kind of done the face so the next product is the brow glue if you watched my haul where I got all of this stuff I had the hardest time finding this product because it was always sold out in shoppers in Walmart I would go to multiple different stores so this is supposed to give you non-sticky transparent like gel it's supposed to style the brows you can get a really fluffy look it's supposed to have a really strong hold so let's go ahead and quickly fill in the brows and again I'm doing a pretty natural look so I'm just gonna use my Benefit micro filling pen. Okay, so we have a nice kind of natural filled in brow. Now let's go ahead and try out this brow glue. It comes with a really nice small little wand. Oh, it feels sticky. Like real, ooh. This holds all day, guys. It's gonna be totally worth the hype. Really sticky. So hopefully it sets down but i can see the hype about this it's really giving me like the fluffy brow but i've never been able to really achieve that because when i use soap it doesn't like my hairs are not the greatest for that look i don't really have full enough ends but this is really like making them look so fluffy and so far it's holding beautifully. I'm putting a lot of it in there, but I want it to hold all day. So I'm impressed, definitely impressed with the brow glue. Biggest test is gonna be if it holds all day and if it sets down, cause it's feeling quite sticky and I don't want it to feel like that all day. So hopefully it'll set down. My next product is the NYX Ultimate Glow Shots. These are brightening liquid eyeshadows. I got it in the shade High Key Lychee. And it's like a nice kind of almost champagne-y shade, but it has a bit of that duochrome kind of to it. There's a shift in there and it's really pretty. So far they look really pigmented too. I have a lot of trouble with liquid eyeshadows. There's only been a few that I've actually liked because I find a lot of them almost dry down and, and crack. They'll look really dry on the lids. They'll be difficult to blend out and move around. So let's go ahead and see if this is worth it. We're gonna do a simple little eye look. I'm gonna dip into my bronzer actually and we're gonna just do a little crease. So let's go ahead and see what this is like in the eye. I like the applicator because it's quite pointy on the end, like precise. So you can get right in here. I'm going to do that and then I'm just gonna use my finger to soften the edges here. And I'm gonna take a little bit on this brush here and try to highlight the inner corner with it and soften that edge. That actually worked really nicely. Very, very pretty and also very easy to work with. Unlike a lot of liquid eyeshadows that I've worked with before, a lot of times if you like kind of try to play with them with your finger or with a brush, they'll like almost lift off the eye um, and not apply like evenly. But this one so far is working really beautifully. It goes where you want it to go and it looks really nice and even and smooth. It's quite pigmented, like it's, it's not, this kind of shade isn't gonna like be super dark, but it's nice and brightening and it's really nice. I love this shade. I'm gonna use a little bit of this on the brow bone as well. Really creamy, lightweight, it's not cracking. I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger. Like look at that, it's almost like a liquid eyeshadow. Or <laughs> it is a liquid eyeshadow, it's almost like a liquid highlight. That shade is pretty on the cheek too. And it's not accentuating texture. It's not looking super um, dry. I do probably recommend applying it with your finger. Like don't apply directly to the face. 
because it is a little harder to blend out, but it's not even meant for the face. So like, look at that highlight. And on the eyes, it just looks so dreamy. Definitely like the glow shots. The next product is from Essence. So I actually have two. They're the Lash Princess liners. We're gonna do on one eye the regular and one eye the waterproof. So this is new, it is the you know, Viral Lash Princess Mascara. It's the liner for that collection. It's like a short chubby liner, but it has quite a precise tip here. So let's just go ahead and see what this baby's all about. So on this eye, we're gonna do the regular. That's precise, super precise, especially considering it's so like chubby. Kind of have to press pretty hard for it to really like give nice rich color. The tip doesn't give you the most color, which kind of sucks because I want to get that nice precise tip or like wing. No, it's not paying off like I want it to actually shake it a bit i don't love this i think the issue is it dries out really quickly it's not my favorite i mean yes the result is pretty it's super matte finish which i like but it doesn't glide very well and it's not super saturated so it doesn't give enough like that was too difficult for me <laughs> like i have so many other eyeliners that would be like the one nice thing is it's super precise um, in the corner, although that might've been because I started off with it in the corner, like the tip dried out really quickly. Um, and it is really nice and matte. You can see it's like not super perfect on the edge there. Okay, that's a bit better. You almost have to use like the very side, which is super thick. So it's difficult to get that precise line with the tip because it's drying out, if that makes sense. I mean, I love the result. It looks really nice and rich once you build it, once you get that, but okay, let's try the waterproof. Maybe this will be the winner win our chicken dinner. I already know I don't like it. No, I'm getting the same result. The tip, it's really like hard too. It's not like bending with, your, with my skin. Actually, the waterproof might be a little bit better. It seemed to glide and not dry out quite as much. Still had similar issues though. If the tip was more saturated, maybe it would be better. <gasps> I'm really mad about this because I was excited about these. Mm, the winner though is the waterproof. You'll even be able to see this one looks almost messier and like not as even and opaque. The waterproof one, even though it wasn't the best eyeliner I've used, it definitely had a better glide to it. It was a little bit less dry. Let's move on. The next product is a mascara. So we have the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. This is another one I'm late to the game, but I had to test it out. It's supposed to be like, it's super viral. It's supposed to be one of the best mascaras from the drugstore. It has an hourglass brush to help lift and separate the lashes. It's supposed to give you, yeah, mega volume, instant lift. It's clean and it's vegan and it's cruelty free. So this is the packaging. I love it's so pretty it looks quite thick the formula like it picks up a lot on the end you see how like thick that looks and that's the brush I like the look of the brush but if you have like really small eyes or you're not a huge fan of big brushes this is quite large so far I'm liking this I actually when I started applying it I was like mm, I don't know I did not know how I was feeling about it, but the more I'm working with it, the more my lashes are looking really nice. It's giving volume for sure, not the most volume I've ever seen in a mascara, but it's giving actually quite like decent length too, which I like when mascaras give both. Now, and especially for not curling my lashes, they look pretty lifted and they look decent. It's maybe not my favorite mascara, because it's not giving as much volume as I thought it was going to. So we have one more product. This is one that's been pretty popular for a while, and I'm really excited. It's such a weird and interesting product. This is the Essence Glimmer Glow Lipstick. So I saw this in, uh, in Shoppers, and I was like, what is that? Like I, I was like, that's so kiddish, like come on. Then I realized it's actually color changing, and, and that it's like super viral. So it's this like clear glittery lipstick and you put it on and it changes color. So when I swatch it, it changes pink. It has little tiny flecks of the glitter. You'll probably see it changing on my skin. See it showing up? 
It's like going more pink. Should we just apply this? I almost feel like I should do a tiny bit of lip liner. I'm gonna go in with my NYX lip pencil in Peekaboo Neutral just a little bit, just the slightest bit. And I don't wanna fill it in at all because I wanna see the color changing. So this is just to add a little bit of shape. Ooh, it feels nice. Feels really like lightweight and really hydrating. It has a nice scent to it. Whoa, it's like really changing color along the inside of my lip. I wonder how it changes. Is it the heat? And that would make more sense that like closer to the inside of my mouth would be darker. Way prettier than I thought it was gonna be. It gives off like a nice sheen and it doesn't look as glitterly, gl ugh, glittery as I thought it was gonna be. Feels super lightweight, like you have barely anything on your lips, but gives a little bit of hydration and moisture. Makes them feel really nice. It almost gives them like a, a bit of a, not plumping, but it like smooths out your lips a little bit because it's giving that kind of sh little bit of hydration and it has ever so slightly a glittery finish, but it's not that noticeable. So if you're worried about it looking really like glittery, it really doesn't. But it almost gives more of a sheen, which I prefer and which I like. And it's giving quite a bit of color. A quite a bit of pink color. So that's the finished look, uh, super natural. Um, and we tested actually quite a few products here. So let me go quickly through them. So I wasn't sure about this, didn't love the packaging of this, and it doesn't give me as much as I thought it was going to, but I do like the overall kind of slight bit of evening, and I do like the glow that it gives. It's not super like shimmery it's just a really nice beautiful healthy glow so i could see myself using it more as a primer but i do kind of I, I like it it's just not my favorite product from today i really like the concealer so far it gave pretty good con, um, coverage and it gave like a nice brightening effect and it was really nice and kind of smoothing to the skin i liked the way that it, it sat on the skin the powder i do like it's not my favorite under the eyes but it's better than i would have expected for a pressed powder and it looks quite nice on the skin lightweight sets down the makeup with a nice soft matte finish and we will see how that whole all holds up really love the bronzer a plus definitely one of my new favorites so far i like this more than i thought it was the essence illuminating powder it has a nice color to it and a nice glow and if you use the highlight on its own it actually has more glow than you would think so you can kind of it's a multi-use product which i like and it's so affordable the brow gel it has completely dried down and it doesn't feel sticky at all anymore it's holding my brows in place beautifully they look nice and fluffy without looking messy it didn't disturb the makeup underneath and we will see if it holds all day but like come on those look Perfect. The glow shots I really, really like. It, this one's quite natural. It's not like extremely pigmented. Um, so I would like to try some of the darker shades and see how those go. But for this one, it's definitely a really easy to use liquid eyeshadow that you can also use on the face. Um, and it is a really beautiful formula. Eyeliners are not my favorite. If I had to pick between the two, I would pick the waterproof. This one I definitely don't recommend. I really don't like this and I think it's kind of um, a flop in my opinion. It's too dry. It doesn't give you enough um, payoff and it actually makes things quite difficult to get a super even and precise application. The waterproof was a little bit better, but I didn't find it um, that great. You know, I have other eyeliners I like a lot better. The mascara is nice, but it's not as nice as I thought it was gonna be considering it's like one of the most hyped up products. You know, it's been hyped up for a long time too, cause it's not the most new product in today's video. It's not my least favorite, but it's, it's not giving that like luscious, thick base that I thought it would be considering it's literally a mega volumizing mascara. So not as excited about that one. Last but not least, the lipstick, like you can see it is super pigmented considering it starts out clear. Um, I like the idea of it. It gives a nice like sheen. It's just the fact that it's only one shade. I feel like not everybody's gonna like this like bright pink. Um, so if it could even be a little bit less pink, almost a little more nude, I would have liked it a lot more, but overall I'm actually quite impressed. It's a really cool product. 
and it feels really lightweight and really, really hydrating on the lips. So yeah, that is my kind of final review of the products. But if you wanna see how these products actually hold up on my oily combo skin, and see how these products wear all day, then stay tuned because I will be doing a wear test. So I will see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so this is the, don't mind my hair. This is the finished um, day look, if that makes sense. If you can tell I'm tired, it's 9.30. So it's been 10 hours and I am very impressed. Things are holding up extremely well, especially considering I'm not wear really wearing like an official primer. I know that Maybelline um, roller was like a four on one considered a primer, but it wasn't necessarily giving any claims of, um, you know, holding up the makeup super long or being mattifying. So considering that I am not very shiny, um, 10 hours later, my makeup hasn't really broken down except for a little transfer off my chin. Like things are looking really well. So number one, the concealer is really long wearing. Um, under the eyes, it's really, you know, held up the rest of the face. Um, that four in one is actually, I think a lot nicer than I thought it was because it, I was worried it was going to break down my found, like my makeup and it really hasn't, my makeup's held up really well. So I think that it's, it's, um, a really nice base to give some glow and just to give an overall kind of um, nice finish. And I personally would probably use it as kind of that extra dewy primer. The rest of the makeup has also held up really well. The lips lasted a few hours before the color was gone, but it kind of stained the lips. So even after I ate, there was color, which was really nice. Um, and it's something that would be easy to reapply. The bronzer is definitely long wearing. Um, the blush highlight, definitely long wearing. The NYX shots, long wearing, hasn't like gone funky or dry at all. Um, the, I did pop on lashes, so, um, but the mascara, I don't know, I'm not as impressed with that mascara as I thought I was gonna be. It's okay. Um, and then the brow gel, extremely nice. Love, 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 love. Um, the liners held up really well. I don't see a significant difference in the wear time, but I'm not a huge fan of either of them. I feel like they just, I mean, you saw the issues. They just don't give the most rich, easy, applications. Overall, I'm really happy with most things um, and my opinion honestly hasn't really changed on anything. I really, really like most of it and definitely recommend um, most of the products. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.